No, it didn't work again. Come on. That is, oh, it doesn't like that. Oh no, it sucked it back in there. Success. That's right, I finally got success with this thing. Welcome back everybody. Today I'm back with a $120 paper towel dispenser. Now what makes this cost 120 bucks? It's a touchless paper towel dispenser that can supposedly work with almost any type of paper towel. Let's jump right into it with the overview and then get started. This is the Inovia touchless paper towel dispenser. I paid $119.99 for this. They say it's easy to load, worse with most paper towel brands. It takes either 4D batteries or the included adapter. Now on Amazon, the people that like it, a lot of people love the ability to dispense a paper towel without touching the roll. Some people said there's a learning curve or it's too expensive or they didn't like the size of it while others said it just jammed all the time so i just finished testing this out and the first thing i wanted to figure out was how to load it the instructions seem to apply one way while their instructional video implied another way i wanted to know if you're supposed to load it under like this or over like this they seem to show up both ways and in the end i'm not sure either one really matters i also tried cheap paper towels cloth paper towels brand name paper towels i even laid it on its side so there was a bit of a trial and error involved and i'll show you the entire process i went through and eventually i finally came up with my own way to get it work so let's see how that went all right the first thing i noticed about this is it's absolutely huge look at the size of this thing just for comparison's sake here's a small world paper towels it's like it's massive now they have a countertop version which this one is or they have one that mounts underneath the cabinet but some people I've noticed also lay it on the side as well. So you could do that. The first thing I noticed when I opened it up was that it has this warning that says that it must be programmed, which does not sound too good, but actually looking at the instructions, the programming isn't really that hard. All you have to do is once you put your first roll in there, it dispenses a bunch of it. You tear off how much you want and then it remembers the amount that you tore off. Something else that's interesting, the instructions here show the roll going underneath. The video they have on Amazon shows it going over, so it seems unclear whether you're supposed to go one way or the other. I'm gonna go based on the instructions here, but that doesn't work, I'll flip it and see if it goes either way. I'm gonna start with a cheap roll of paper towels. These are just generic, cheap, low-end paper towels. So the first thing you're supposed to do is open it up. There's a, a little latch right there. So I'm gonna base it on the instructions and have it kind of going this way instead of the other way. If this doesn't work, we'll try the other way. I've got the roll in there, now let's close it up. <laughs> that wasn't good. Let's try the other way. Maybe, maybe it's just backwards. Wow, that was bad. Wow, okay. All right, so let's try this again. I'll put it in there with it going the opposite direction. So what we're supposed to do is close it and then it should retract it. And does it retract? It did retract. Well, that seemed better that time, so maybe it's supposed to go that way. Now what you're supposed to do to dispense it is wave your hand over the magic motion sensor over here. Now it has a lot. You're supposed to tear off how much you want. I have one sheet, and it should retract it again, and it did. It did. So now what it's supposed to do is remember how much you tore off and just dispense that the next time. Here we go. One sheet. It didn't like that. It didn't like that either. Now, now the red light's flashing on here, so it, it, it's telling me that there's a problem. Let's, I'm going to try this one more time. I, I feel like I was almost there. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. Close it. Will it retract it? <laughs> it didn't retract it. Come on, man. Wow, this is, this is, so far I'm off to a bad start. Let me try a different roll. Maybe it, does, maybe it doesn't like cheap uh, paper towels. That could be the problem. I will say there's a lot of people on Amazon. People even loved it, or some people said it was just jamming nonstop. Right now I'm uh, in the jamming nonstop camp. Okay, now I've got a completely different feeling paper towel. This one hopefully will work better. This is more of the clothy type paper towel. So this might, this might be better, we'll see. All right, so we're supposed to feed a little bit through here first. Close it up. It should retract. It did. It didn't sound very good. Let me try dispensing one now. Oh, <laughs> come on. This is not going well. I'm going to try flipping it over one more time. Maybe, the, maybe, maybe it needs to go this way. I don't know. Closing it up. Retract. Okay, did retract it that time. So we're off to a good start here. Dispensing the first towels. It did not dispense. <laughs> Wow, what a, what a mess. Maybe these clothy towels aren't, aren't good either. Not to despair, we've got more paper towels to try. I've got a, a bounty paper towel here. This one should work. This is like the most popular brand of paper towels, isn't it? So this should work. This better work. All right, here we go. Will it even fit? It does fit. Now this one I'm going to go underneath this time because I'm, I'm still not sure which one works better. Both are a disaster. I'm going to pull out some of the slack here. It should retract it. 
Okay, well, it did seem to retract at that time, so I have high hopes. Now let's try dispensing the first round. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tear two off. Retract it again. Okay, we're off, we're off on a roll here now. Now it should dispense two of them because I tore two of them off. So here we go. <laughs> success! That's right, I finally got success with this thing. It only took three rolls and a bunch of different tries, but I did have success. Let me try another couple and see how it goes. There's two. Oh yeah, I think we've got success here. Maybe it's just finding the right kind of paper towel and getting it in there properly. One thing is that you're kind of in a hurry. It's like you only have a couple seconds before it retracts it back in there. When it works, it works pretty well. So, I mean, the initial ones didn't go very well. I had the cheap ones and I had the cloth ones, but the bounty seemed like they're doing quite well. All right, I, I'm happy I got some success, but let's try something else here. I saw someone online laying it down like this. Let's see if it will work like that. Oh, wow, it did it twice. I think if you hold your hand over the motion sensor for a long period of time, it dispenses more, so let's try. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, I think we're on a roll here. It's actually working, what do you know? Now, one thing is when you open it back up again, it resets the memory, so you're gonna to have to program it again for what size you want. And to be clear, I'm in the under configuration here. Let me try it one more time in the over and see if I have any problems that way. Maybe it doesn't matter which way the, the towel's going there. It could have just been my towels and not the actual placement that was the problem before. So now I'm in the over configuration. Okay. Dispensing. I'm gonna take two off. Tracks it back in there and let's try again. Also, maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't really matter. It might not matter at all. It seems like they show both ways, so maybe both ways are okay. I have another roll of paper towels that are really large. Let me see if it'll even fit in there. I think the maximum diameter is six and a half inches. The, this is probably pushing that, so let's see. This is showing about six inches. And this is the, the Kirkland brand of paper towels, so it's still pretty common. So Bounty did do well. Some of the cheap ones, not so much. That's something else. I saw a lot of mixed reviews on Amazon, but nobody really talked about the kinds of paper towels they were using. So maybe it's just the cheap towels don't work as well. But let's see if these Kirkland even fits. This is a pretty big roll though, so let's see. Oh no. <laughs> No, 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 that is, oh, it doesn't like that. Oh no, it sucked it back in there. Maybe because the roll is just starting. Let's see, once we get it started here. No, definitely not, definitely not, definitely not. Okay, let me flip this over. Maybe, maybe the placement doesn't matter after all. Okay, now I'm, on, I'm under again this time. Closing it up, it should retract it. Oh, that seemed to work better that time. Here we go. All right, I'm just gonna tear uh, one small one off. Oh, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't like that. Uh, <laughs> nothing came out. Let me try this bounty again. The bounty is the only one I really had, had good luck with. Oh, that didn't even like that one now. Pull it back in there, okay. No, it didn't work again. Come on, you're almost there. I'm gonna try this bounty on the laying it down. Maybe laying it down is the way to go. Let's see. I tore one off. Yeah, it seems like when you lay it down, it maybe because it's not moving around as much, it seems like it's more consistent. Let's see, look at this. Once it dispenses it, you're almost under pressure to tear it off quickly before it retracts it again. This cloth one again, laid down. All right, so I'm kind of feeding it through there. I'm not sure these cloth ones are really good though, because they're kind of they're almost on the sticky side. All right, well, it didn't, it didn't crunch it in there again, like the other, other time. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. It's working better laying down. It is working better laying down, look at this. It was working well laying down. I just stood it up without touching anything else. Let's see if it will dispense it properly now. So 
So maybe the trick is to set it up on its side and then stand it up once it's been set up properly. I'm gonna test that theory out with the cheap paper towels that were a disaster the first time around. I'm gonna pull out a little bit of excess, have it almost closed, I'll lay it on the side. This is not according to the instructions. Close it up, it should retract it. Now I'm gonna do two of them. Pull it back in there and now stand it up and see what happens. Oh, I think we're onto something here. I got the secret code. All right, I think that's it. I think the key for this one to work more consistently is to load it on the side and then stand it up. They don't say that in the instructions. I didn't see anybody at Amazon say that, but in my case, that seems to be the only way to get the work right. Once it works, it's pretty cool though. It seems like having a spool in there would make that a little easier so it's not moving around so much. But if that's what I have to do to make it work, then that's, that's not a problem. Because the cheap ones now are working. All right, I'm gonna say it's a success now that I've got it figured out how to load it properly. So I can see why this has mixed reviews because there's a lot of variables in there and it seems like everybody's gonna have a little bit of trial and error to get it to work for them. I will say it's expensive. I will say it's finicky, but when it does work, it's pretty cool. But if you've tried something like this, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.